this is not what I wanted to look like my first video back to YouTube. Oh Lord. I'm filming today because I'm starting on a new piece. I am in the process of a potentially big style change at the moment. I gave myself time off and I've been doing a lot of studying and drawing behind the scenes. And a lot of that has been trying to figure out what I actually want to make, what I actually like making in terms of the more technical side of art making. Because I have found my digital process frustrating and just unfulfilling altogether lately. I like the results of them a lot, but the actual process of making them has been dreadful. <laughs> anyway, all that to say, I have something in mind. I did the thumbnail last night. I'm very nervous and excited for it, which is a good sign. I'm going to be breaking out my watercolors and graphite. Graphite because it gives me the control that I need and I'll probably use some color pencil in there as well to get some darkness. And then watercolor as just a very simple layer on top because I have noticed about myself I do not like fiddling a lot with the color side of things. I like my colors to be very fast. So yeah, hopefully this works out and you can come along for the ride with me. I was just about to introduce you to my new plants and he lost a leaf. <laughs> okay, what I actually wanted to show you were these watercolor studies that I've been doing. Uh, I did these yesterday. I was just practicing layering watercolor on top of graphite because that's the technique that I'm going for with this new piece. And as you can see here in this one, the colors got pretty muddy and it did not turn out how I wanted it to. It actually doesn't look as bad as I remember it, <laughs> honestly. It was uh, a big fail, but in the best way possible because it just showed me like what doesn't work basically. And then this one I'm happier with. You can see this hair is basically what I want the whole piece to look like. Uh, I want the graphite to do m the most work. This is actually an old sketch that I did. I just wanted to practice layering the watercolor over it. My problem is that I think this is mixed media paper and I don't think that it's going to turn out the same when I do it on my hot press watercolor paper. So this is the thumbnail sketch that I'm working with. I just took the original little thumbnail and then blew it up in size. This is a 12 by 18 canvas, 300 dpi. Not that it matters because I'll be transferring it to watercolor paper anyway. As you can see, she has kind of a a difficult pose, at least for me. So I'm going to do a few practice sketches before I go in on the actual sketch. So I'm basically done with the sketch for the most part. This is what it's looking like. Kind of a bad view on this camera, but I still need to add some details in the water and like fix up this.
I finally finished up the graphite portion of this piece. I know I didn't film the very last of it. My SD card ran out of space and I was in the zone already and I was like, I'm just, I'm just gonna finish this. But this is what it looks like. I will show a close up of it because I know that you can't really see anything in this lighting, but yeah, so the graphite is all done. I'm really happy with how detailed the background came out and I liked the process a lot actually. It was like satisfying through basically the whole process. So I think that I'm heading in the right direction. There was a little mishap on toward the bottom there in the wave. Uh, my mom accidentally set a black Prismacolor pencil on top of it. Luckily, I think I can cover that up with gouache after everything's done, so it shouldn't matter much in the end. But now, I'm moving on to the color portion of this. So I posted some uh, color studies on my Instagram and did a poll to see what color scheme people were liking. And so far it's looking like we're leaning toward either pink or blue or like blue and green. Now, I'm actually gonna move on to doing actual watercolor studies. So instead of just doing it digitally, I'm gonna take my watercolors and and paint on top of this printed out version that's actually printed out on hot press watercolor. So it's exactly the same. So I'm hoping that it'll give me a better idea of how this is gonna work and that it won't bleed too bad. <laughs> I've done this before on like really lightly printed out um, illustrations and it didn't bleed so I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping for the best. All right, so just a quick update, but this is what the watercolor studies are looking like. I think I'm gonna be going with uh, one of these two, but I did a little thing on the computer to kind of fix the saturation, and I'm just gonna do a few more to make sure I'm really ready. <laughs>
All right, I'm finally done. This is what it looks like. I'll insert some close-ups so you can actually see it. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the process. There are still some little kinks to work out, but I think that doing the graphite first was really good for me. Uh, during the coloring stage, there was much less of a question about whether or not it would be worth it to, to finish it. So yeah, overall things went well. There was a little portion in the middle there where I started struggling and I turned the camera off for a minute just to focus in and, and uh, I was able to get it back to where I was happy with it and, and yeah, so it was a good learning experience. I hope that uh, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video that you enjoyed it and hopefully you want me to make more of these. I definitely want to make more. I had a lot of fun editing this actually. I've edited like three quarters of this video already and I, I missed making videos so hopefully it will not be six months <laughs> the next time that you see me. Hey.